Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I'm your host, the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. I once was the problem, now what I seek to do is be part of the solution. How do we stop these young kids from picking that brick, throwing at their prison wall for absolutely nothing? Hey, I'm here to tell you, without no test, there's no testimony, crime doesn't pay. There's no shortcut in life. Only thing come fast, trouble. Easy to get into, hard to get out. And you know what? Right now, is that's the same situation with Keefe D. You know what? Here it is. He's in the world of trouble. But once again, he's incarcerated in Vegas. And WAC 100 been talking. You know what? I'm going to play a clip. He was talking about Bell and Keefe D out on Vlad about a month ago. And you know what? Here it is. When you got a man that kept his word. So once again, like I said, I want y'all to listen to this clip. It was like a month ago, you know what I'm saying, courtesy of Vlad, when WAC 100 said his bell's only 75000 I'm going to get him under stipulation. So check it out, and I'll be back. That's I'm not going to say. <laughs> Keith, he got a bell. He's supposed to be home. <laughs> That's up to law He's supposed to be though. home in the next month. I've been thinking about going to bell him out. You going to bail out Keith, D? Yeah, it's only 75000 Well, because it's a million-dollar bond? Like seven fifty. Seven fifty. so you got to put up 75000 yeah, I've been thinking about going to get him and do and. and with the stipulations that I do the series on it, people will watch it. Yeah. Uh, last time we talked, we was negotiating the series on Baby Lane, the Orlando Anderson mm -hmm. rights. And then my boy Big Bruce let me know I had to talk to Baby Lane's mom, which is yeah. KBD's mm -hmm. um, sister, which I met with her in Long Beach. We talked for a couple hours. Um, actually... The, the day I met KBD, he was coming to see you that day or the next day. Oh, okay. Yeah, he came to see you either that day or the next day. I met him that evening. He came to my studio, him and a bunch of his guys, and he's like, I got to go do Vlad. I don't know if it was that day or the next day. He was coming to do your interview. But, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, um, it, is there a way of proving that what he was saying was factual and truthful on the podcast? He's a street dude. He's a cop and crip. So, you know, maybe he was... Uh, playing, playing the people and, and just being an entertainer. I mean, after all, you know, do we believe that Denzel Washington is a drug dealer because a crooked cop because we've seen what he did on training day? Hey, man, listen, if he gets off, great. I have said this multiple times. Las Vegas PD called me a dozen times to try to get my raw footage, and I never responded. No, no, you told me that. Yeah, I'm never going to respond. I'm, I'm not going to cooperate. Well, whatever's well, out there, the they have... is already out there. Like, it's, it's already out there. There's nothing extra. But even if there was, I wouldn't cooperate. In fact, in fact, this is this is kind of an interesting point. When we were recording him, because his co-writer was right there, they wanted to just take a break. They went outside. My cameraman looks at me. He's like, the mic is still on. I said, turn it off. Turn off the recorder. Well, not only that, um, a lot of your questions, the majority of them, came from his book. All of the questions came. So from. all your if your interview is from the book, I'm pretty sure they have the book. Exactly. So the book is on Amazon. That's it's it. selling right now. <laughs> so right. yeah, man. Now, it, is it, is, book, it is what it is. What kind of book is it? Fiction, not fiction. I guess it's up to his lawyer to. No, uh, what, what is it classified as? That could bite him in the ass. Mm. We need to look that up. Is Keepy D's book? Let's take a look. Fiction or it's not actually a fiction. very good. Let me see. That could bite him in the ass. Hold on a second. You know the name of the book? You probably yeah, it's remember. called uh, Compton Street Legend, Keefe D's Street Level Counts of Tupac and Biggie's Murder, Death Row Origins, Suge Knight, Puffy Combs, and Crooked Cops. It doesn't actually say. You would think that it would be fiction if they're trying to... It would be Compton Street Legend. It's an authentic a narrative, as you will find. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, that nigga Keefe D. Hey, boy, he good. He good. It doesn't say. Okay, y'all heard it with your own ears. You know, WAC 100 and Vlad, courtesy of Vlad. Whereas, what WAC say? WAC say right now he's going to bell Keefe D out. And you know what? Here it is. He just posted something. So, Keefe D is supposed to be out tomorrow. They have a hearing at 9 a.m. tomorrow in Vegas. So, even with that being said, you know, the stipulation was that Keefe D have to give his right to do a story with WAC 100. Now, because he say, everybody will watch. That's a business move, that's a power move. And now what they trying to say is this, Keefe 
D was basically capping, lying, fabricating, telling people what they want to hear. So what you see now on social media, social media is the new form of free entertainment. Whereas you got so many people on these platform saying things, doing things just to get views. So what he's trying to say is what Keefe D defense is, he made it all up. He was never even in Vegas. But guess what? That's for a jury to decide. So once again, like I told you, man, like, listen, man, folks, stop capping on YouTube. Stop saying things that, you know what? It didn't exist. It didn't happen. Stop lying for a check. Stop trying to pretend you something that you're not. Because once again, you see what this man did. Even though right now, I don't know whether he's lying, capping, or was telling the truth in that book. But once again, are doing all that interviews. So all money is not good money. So you mean to tell me right now this man is fighting for his life? This man, if he do not beat that case, would die in the penitentiary? All because he was capping for a dollar? Nah. That's why what you have to do is get a legit hustle. The number one legit hustle is a job. The number two legit hustle is a second job. The number three legit hustle is a side job. Legally, that you don't have to worry about your phone being tapped. You don't have to worry about, you know what I'm saying, right now where it's law enforcement coming in and kicking you in your doors. You don't have to worry about nobody snitch on you. Right now, if you got a jobby job, you don't have to worry about that, man. Hey, listen, folks, crime doesn't pay. I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs, and if I can change, anybody can change. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. Make sure you comment. And shout out. Thank you for all 15,000.200 of my subscribers. I truly, truly appreciate it. To get more of my story, Google Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Glaze, G-L-A-Z-E, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, and see what give me full authorization to say what I'm saying because I am who I was. But I am a changed man. The grace of God. Peace. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brian. Gifts. I love this book so much. I mean, I was a fan of your YouTube channel, but now I'm like a real up close and personal fan. I really love what you have going on here. And not only that, but I too was once lost. And now I'm found. So thank you, Brian, for this autographed copy. I appreciate you. Yo, Glaze, I just got to my favorite part of your book. This is Out of Prison as a New Person. So page 308, May of 1998. That's actually when I had the pleasure of meeting you and we worked together on that 1030 to 3 a.m. shift, which was crazy. Um, my respect level just went up like 10 more notches for you. So I knew about your past. I knew about everything that had gone on. But what I didn't know is you were going from $40,000 a day to, I think we were making $12 an hour there, that night shift, something crazy. So for you to be able to have that work ethic of going from slanging easy rocks to slanging heavy packages and uh, working that night shift and just being the positive person you were that whole time and offering encouragement to everybody that worked that shift.